first video that I want to respond to is actually not on his channel, it is on a different channel, EF Dawa, a video which he made in 2019 called Apostate Prophet Exposed. This is the first time that I heard of Farid. This video already starts with some very bad logic. It seems like anyone who's an ex-Muslim today is automatically an expert in Islam. How does that happen? First off, that's a poor question. I never claimed such a thing. I clearly say that I practiced and studied Islam. I am aware that most Muslims are not very much knowledgeable on Islam. So if the average Muslim leaves Islam, that doesn't mean that that person is an expert. But then again, I never claimed that I am an expert. I merely said that I know much more than most Muslims. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This is the first point that Ridwan wanted to refute in Farid's video. Farid is asking, how does an ex-Muslim become an expert on Islam? And Ridwan responds by saying, I never said that. I never claimed that I was an expert. So this is the first refutation. Ridwan clearly refuted and exposed Farid's lie about him that he claimed that he was an expert. But in reality, Ridwan never claimed to be an expert. So Farid, you were exposed for lying about Ridwan. Here, we will divide this response into two parts. In the first part, we will answer this question. Did Farid say in this part that Ridwan claimed to be an expert? That's the first question. The second question we are going to answer is, did Ridwan claim to be an expert? So let's answer the first question. Did Farid say that Ridwan claimed to be an expert in this part that we have just watched? Let's go and watch. It seems like anyone who's an ex-Muslim today is automatically an expert in Islam. How does that happen? Seriously. Unfortunately, the anti-Muslim propagandist machine is trying to clutch at straws in order to make their claims legit. And thus, the birth of the ex-Muslim uh, mini-celebrity. In other words, a cringy, ignorant guy in his late 20s is all of a sudden an expert in, on Islam when in reality all he's doing is rehashing arguments that you can find on other um, anti-Islamic websites that were written by some other bigots. This guy is making around $1,200 through Patreon per month. Why? Because he's an ex-Muslim who's supposedly an expert on Islam. So after watching the original video, it's very clear that Farid was talking in general about a phenomena that's happening in the YouTube world where ex-Muslims are treated as experts. Ex-Muslims are supported by anti-Islam bigots and given platform to explain Islam to the Western world simply because they are ex-Muslims. And this is something Ridwan cannot deny because he himself exposed one of those cases where an ex-Muslim is treated by, you know, the Western people as an expert on Islam when in reality he doesn't know what he's talking about. Jordan Peterson should talk to the ex-Muslims who are an illegal minority, who are not supposed to exist, they're supposed to be killed. He should talk to the critics, the blasphemers, who are not supposed to exist. He had a conversation with Ayan Hirsi Ali before, and with all due respect to Ayan Hirsi Ali, she has the culture and the experience and the knowledge of politics. I wouldn't say that she is very knowledgeable on Islamic law. So out of his desperation to get, you know, invited by Dr. Jordan Peterson, Ridvan threw Ayan Hirsi Ali under the bus and exposed her as an ignorant person on Islamic law. But Ridvan, this Ayan Hirsi Ali is treated as an expert by the Western media, by even the new atheist movement, by everyone who hates Islam. And in order to see that what Farid is talking about is actually true, you don't need to go far. I mean, go to your friend's channel, Myth Vision. When he critiqued Christianity, he invited these scholars. But when he critiqued Islam, he invited these kinds of scholars. I'm sure the faces look familiar to you, Ridwan. So that's the first point. Ridwan, you strawmanned Farid point. Farid was talking in general about a phenomena that no one can deny. Ex-Muslims are treated in the West as experts on Islam. So that's your first failure. But the problem is, it's a double failure. Because even after you strawmanned Farid's point, you fail, Ridwan. Now we are going to answer the second question. Did Ridwan 
claim to be an expert on Islam. Let's read the definition of expert from Cambridge Dictionary. A person with a high level of knowledge or skill relating to a particular subject or activity. This is the definition of an expert. So even if Ridwan didn't say literally, I am an expert, but he said other things which indicates that he has a high level of knowledge on Islam, then that's the same thing as saying, I am an expert on Islam. And the irony is, in the same video Ridwan was responding to, Farid showed some clips of Ridwan saying the following. I have read the Quran more than three times. I studied the Hadith thoroughly. Uh, I studied Islam thoroughly. I studied bas basically everything about Islam. I can carefully say that I know more than 85% of all Muslims about Islam. So here Ridwan is saying that he knows more than 85% of Muslims. Uh, actually, this was old because recently he said that he knows more than 95% of Muslims. And he said that he studied Islam thoroughly. He studied everything about Islam. And not just that. He studied the Hadith thoroughly. He didn't say he read the Hadith. He said he studied the Hadith thoroughly. Subhanallah, people spend their entire life studying the Hadith. But Ridwan, in a, in a matter of four to five years, studied the Hadith thoroughly. So maybe in the future we are going to see Sahih Apus. And again, let's go back to the video where Ridwan was begging Jordan Peterson to invite him. After he threw Ayan Hirsi Ali under the bus, this is what he said. He had a conversation with Ayan Hirsi Ali before, and with all due respect to Ayan Hirsi Ali, she has the culture and the experience and the knowledge of politics. I wouldn't say that she is very knowledgeable on Islamic law. Many others are. I can tell you a lot about Islamic law. I can open the books and show you what Islamic law is. So in short, if you claim you know more about Islam than 95% of Muslims, if you claim you studied the Hadith thoroughly, if you claim you studied everything about Islam thoroughly, if you claim you're the one who should be invited to Jordan Peterson to explain the Islamic law to the Western people, then what does that make you, Ridvan? A person with a high level of knowledge or skill relating to a particular subject or activity which is Islam in this case. That means you're not just an expert, you're actually a great expert on Islam. Even though you don't know how many rak'ah are Jum'ah prayer. Fridays, it is replaced by the Friday prayer, which, uh, which, which extends it to um, four sunnah, four fars, um, four sunnah, four fars, um, four sunnah, four fars. What? 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 But don't worry about it. For someone who studied Islam thoroughly, who studied everything about Islam, that's not a problem. So here is the summary of this video. Ridwan Stroman Farid's point. Farid was talking generally about the ex-Muslim phenomena. And even after Ridwan Stroman Farid's point, he failed. Because in reality, he did claim to be an expert on Islam. And we come to the end of this video. Stay tuned because we are going to address the rest of Ridvan's pathetic response to Brother Farid. Thank you so much for watching. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.